Buddy Jaybird. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I talk about this, I do question, why do I have to teach this? Why is it something that we don't all know? Part of learning and part of living is this element that I am still surprised to this day, no matter what age. It's not about kids. It's not about young adults. It's everyone. I mean, even people much older that should have learned this. Um, so I want to talk about it. It's really important. It's freeing when you, when you know this. It really is. It's freeing. And it also elevates you to many levels of just existing. It, I'm, you know, I, I teach golf, so it's, you know, it's going to take you to many levels in golf, but it can take you to many levels in many things in life. So I'm going to talk about mistakes and I want to toughen you up <laughs> and because if, if you can't handle mistakes and try to get somewhere without it, it's nearly impossible. I, I have yet to see a scratch golfer or a, a great golfer that has never hit a bad shot. I mean, the better you are at something, the more bad shots that you have overcome. If you don't overcome them and it gets to you from stage one or stage two or three, then you can't get to the next level. So that's why I want to talk about it. It's like, what do you do with it when you have and think that you're making mistakes? I really look at it as stepping stones. It's, they're not even mistakes. They're like part of it. You can't get to the next level without getting through the mistakes in that level. So there's each level, or I call it each box that you are in, to get to the next level, the next box, you have to have gone through the different shots that you, you have to overcome. So they're more like stepping stones. And so whenever I see somebody and they're learning the game of golf and they, st they hit a shot to the left and then they go, why did I hit it there? And I'm like, just keep working on your fundamentals. It'll straighten out. And they hit another shot. Why did it go to the right? Why did it go high? Why did it go low? You know, it's like, but you have to go through them. You know, I've never seen a good golfer not having hit every single miss shot you can even imagine. And sometimes it's intentional. Like while you're learning to get to the next level, you try different things and go, oh, this shot creates this sort of mistake or you know, it's, it's just part of learning and you get to know what you're doing even more by exploring and trying different things. And when you try different things, you're going to make what we define as mistakes. So I'm trying to, I mean, toughen people up in a sense where it's not like, you know, you, you're going to be tough and you're going to get through this. It's not like that. It's like looking at it and looking at it clearly and going, hey, this is part of it. And if you can get through it without getting stuck on each bad shot, you know, whenever somebody hits a bad shot and that person, if they get stuck on it, which is very common, it's like they hit a bad shot and then it's like, oh, what did I do? Why do I keep doing that? You know, that felt awful. It's like, here, look, there's 110 golf balls in this large basket. You just hit one, hit another one. We can even get more if you need it, you know, and, and let's get through this. And if you can get through your mistakes without getting so stuck and emotional about it, then you can really step over them and not get stuck. And they, you know, mistakes can hold you back 
if every time it's, you're putting so much weight on each shot and and each emotion that you go through when you hit a bad shot if you just let it flow through you you can get upset for a second but move on there's another chance there's another golf ball and i just want to you know find ways to teach people this and again i'm like why do i need to teach this you know we should all know this you know we should all be free to create you know learn new things and then while you're learning it why wouldn't we hit bad shots or if we're learning how to skateboard why wouldn't we fall i mean to learn how to walk how many times have we fallen down many 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 times and so you would think that we would just know that it's part of it but i learned really quickly most of us it's like man it's it's so difficult to overcome these bad shots or what we define mistakes and it's helped me really understand life and i really don't have any regrets I've made many mistakes in life we all have that we think are mistakes but actually that's part of how we gain better knowledge of how to live life how to really enjoy it because you know what it's like if you don't approach life the right way I mean there's just it was all part of the learning it's part of why life is better now but if we get stuck if we get stuck on the past and stuck on oh why did this happen and have regrets then you're getting stuck it's like that golf shot you hit a bad shot and you're just getting stuck and then you could even have a bad round and the next day you're still worried about the round you had yesterday or a month ago or a year ago you know that that can linger for a long time you you got to let it go you got to move on and learn from it so i have no regrets about life i mean how do we go through life completely like doing everything perfect that's impossible and when you see it in that perspective then you look back and go oh my god that's all part of it that's why it's better now and then enjoy the now enjoy what you have learned if if maybe you didn't go through what you went through you wouldn't really appreciate it now so you know it's all connected and i think about i talk about the game of golf but i also talk about life and how it's the same. I mean everything that we've gotten good at, if you think about it, if you truly think back to everything that you've gotten good at, weren't there things in between where it didn't go smoothly? But you're better off because of it that it was truly a lesson. So next time when you pick up something to learn and you make a mistake feel free about it like oh this is part of it don't fear it don't try to avoid it embrace it i embrace my past my present my future embrace all of it and my future is bright because of my past i don't regret it i don't hold on to something that i thought was a mistake i'm like oh my goodness i'm glad that happened because now i know 
not to do that or I know what I've learned now and it's going to make my future better and then in the end it's all part of it keep that in mind in everything that you do I use the word toughen up but I, I can't think of another word right now but it makes you tougher it makes you in a sense like not in a tough like harsh kind of way it's just you know I, I say Jay like I call her Braveheart she's she's just so soft and sweet but she's got a strong heart and strong mindset when you think you've made a mistake that it doesn't get you down it actually makes you tougher where it's like no I'm gonna get through this this is part of learning isn't that empowering isn't that better than why do I always do this this is awful I can't believe I did that you'll be surprised how much better you will feel about yourself, about what you are doing, and how much better you will be at whatever you're learning or however you're living. It truly is freeing and it's going to take you to many levels. And most of all, you will have a lot of gratitude because when things get better after having gone through bad shots or mistakes or whatever, you're really going to be grateful. You're not going to be stuck in the past. You're not going to be stuck hitting bad shots. You're going to overcome them when you do. It is so uplifting and it's a wonderful, positive state to be in. So keep this in mind. Do learn this. I didn't know I had to teach it, but I'm teaching it now.